Use V-O-T-A to communicate better. In this episode, I'm going to address the question, what's the best way or formula to give a talk or a speech? This is a very powerful formula that I have used in any talk lesson, or I'm here in my studio. It is my radio studio. I have a national show broadcast every week now for 11 years. When you learn this VOTA formula, you will hit it out of the ballpark. So I'm Doug Andrew. I've spoken over 85,000 hours in my life to audiences of anywhere from 50 to 20,000. I've given quite a few talks and given a lot of speeches. I even uh, competed in high school. I've had my national radio show now for 11 years. I've done a lot of TV shows, written books, and so forth. I teach a course on how to write a best-selling book. Now, I attribute this idea to uh, one of my dear friends, Dan Sullivan. He's known as the Strategic Coach. He's the one that gave me this sort of acronym, and I don't know where he heard it, but it's called V-O-T-A. And whenever you're going to be communicating to an audience, whether it's two or three minutes, whether it's a book and you have uh, 200 pages, a talk, a lesson, 10 minute talk, it doesn't matter. This formula is probably the most powerful that I have ever learned. So let's go through the V, O, T, and A so that you can memorize it, learn it, and it can be sort of a template in your mental Rolodex or whatever you want to think about whenever you give a talk. Because when I sit down here, this is my studio, I get on the air and I record my show and it's broadcast all over in different uh, cities throughout America. The most important thing that I do is use VOTA in order to engage my listeners. But it's the same thing I do if I was teaching youth I mentor troubled youth at youth detention centers. I'm on a, a board of directors for teenage suicide prevention. When I'm in front of my grandkids with grandpa's camp, when I'm talking to adult men and I'm talking to entrepreneurs and business owners, this formula works regardless. Are you ready? So what does VOTA stand for? Vision, obstacles, transformation, action. So let's start with the V. What I like to do whenever I'm going to get on the air, write a book, I first of all think, okay, the other person, what is on their mind that I'm talking to? So this is you I'm talking to right now in the privacy here in my studio. What is the vision that I want you to have of a brighter future? The brightness of the day, if you follow what I'm going to give you versus the darkness of the night, if you keep doing what you're doing. I don't care if it's physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. I want to paint the contrast be between the darkness of the night, so to speak, if, if you keep living life the way you're living it, but you're frustrated, versus the brightness of your future if you'll simply change your ways. And I want you to envision that brighter future. So as we look at that, if I was talking about financial independence, how would it be to have $5 million, $10 million, generating a million dollars a year of tax-free cash flow into perpetuity? How would that feel to not have to worry about money? If I'm talking about health, how would it feel to have as much energy and clarity and passion when you were uh, 75 or 80 years old as you had when you were 45? You would live longer, right? And so whatever vision it is, if I am a therapist, if I'm a nutritionist, if I'm a, a trainer or a chiropractor, or if I'm an orthodontist, parents bring in a young lady, I want to talk about the vision of their beautiful smile, not just straightening their teeth. Does that make sense? The V stands for the vision. Once you are able to provide a vivid vision of the end result, we have to now increase the likelihood that that vision will become a reality or come to fruition. So let's go to the O. So the O stands for obstacles. There are always obstacles, roadblocks, barriers, hindrances, whatever you want to call them, that stand in the way of us achieving the vision for financial independence or for the, for the best health 
or the ideal weight or whatever we're wanting to do to become better. So once we get that vivid vision, we want to identify what are all the roadblocks, hindrances, obstacles that stand in the way. I will usually outline and interview people. And so here on the radio, I'll talk about some of the biggest obstacles that stand in the way of most people achieving financial independence. Taxes, inflation, market volatility, they're not saving enough. In fact, in another episode, I talk about 15 mistakes people make, baby boomer blunders that a lot of baby boomers made. Once we outline the the mistakes, what I do as an exercise with my children, my grandchildren, if I'm talking to my clients, is I go through and identify the biggest obstacles, but then the human brain has a hard time wrapping itself, so to speak, around a list of 15. So we circle the top three. What are the three biggest obstacles, the biggest dangers we need to uh, eliminate? And uh, when you focus on the top three, the others sort of take care of themselves in many ways. When you prioritize by listing the top three obstacles and how you're going to overcome them and how life will look, the chances of you achieving the vision that you portrayed goes up from like maybe 55% up to 90%, up to 99% by eliminating the biggest obstacles that stand in the way. Whenever I've empowered my children to do this, uh, I know their chance for success goes through the roof when I have them sit down for a half an hour and write down what's the vision, what are the biggest obstacles, and how are you going to best overcome those obstacles, and what resources are you going to use? Do you need to study? Do you need to read? Do you need to borrow money? Do you need to earn this? What are the best resources to eliminate those dangers and overcome the barriers and obstacles? So that sets us up for the T, which is the transformation. So T stands for transformation. Now, again, uh, as in the vivid vision, you're showing the person you're interested in the vision of the brighter future and the transformation that will actually take place place. Now, a transformation sometimes goes through a series of steps. You want to get very, very clear on the meaningful transformation that will take place in your life. So, if I was teaching this to a doctor or a dentist, let's say the orthodontist example, you want to show them that at the end of the day, in 18 months, this is what your daughter's smile will look like. And look at the transformation. Instead of hiding her teeth when she smiles, she's just going to be beaming. That will build her confidence. And then she'll try out for cheerleading or for the play or whatever. And so it's more than just straightening the teeth, the transformation of having a confident, beautiful, smile that you're not ashamed of. There's so many strategic byproducts that come from creating a meaningful transformation. It's like in the book, The Experience Economy. See, if people view what you do as just uh, like any other CPA or any other dietitian or, or nutritionist, uh, you're just a commodity. If you have unique products, that's one rung up on the ladder. If you op offer exceptional service, that's as high as most people go. If you provide a unique experience and educate people and treat them uh, like incredible, you're almost there. But when you provide a meaningful transformation, you will have the highest compensation with the least competition because price goes out the window. People want a meaningful transformation. So get super clear on how that is going to take place and the process that they will go through to arrive at this destination. And then the A is the key. So let's go into what A stands for. So A stands for action, the specific action steps. So once we have a vision, we've identified the obstacles and the resources to overcome those obstacles and then created this process of the transformation that will take place. People want to know dot by dot how to connect the dots 
the specific action steps. This is step number one, phase one. Uh, two, this is what we do next. This is what we do next. So if it's a patient, let's go back to the orthodontic patient. So we're going to do this and then we're going to have a few adjustments and do this little tiny oral surgery. And, and then we're going to have uh, the braces and then you'll do this. And then at the end, we're going to have embrace and those are the Invisalign type. And, and we're going to make final adjustments. And let me just tell you, the extra time we're going to spend, instead of just having straight teeth, here's a picture of someone with straight teeth. Here's a picture, the same person with a beautiful smile. See the difference? As they look at the end result in mind, as Stephen Covey would say, they get very clear on, oh, here's, here's the first step. Here's the next, here's the next, here's the next, here's the next. And they go, I can do this. Oh, they leave the orthodontic office and they are so clear on the action steps and this process. And so many times professionals don't put those action steps on one sheet of paper. You need to communicate the action steps on one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. First this, then this, then this. On my process, I actually brand educate it. I actually trademark each step of the process so that they know it is very unique. And so that is the real key and power behind specific action steps. So let's review. The VOTA formula, is the best way to prepare a talk or a speech. And VOTA stands for vision, okay, obstacles, transformation, and action. So if I'm here in the radio studio and I want to connect with my listeners, I first of all paint a vivid vision of their brighter future and what they want, what everybody wants. And then I identify the obstacles, the dangers, the roadblocks, hindrances that we need to eliminate to increase that chance to over 95%. They're gonna achieve that vision. Then I talk about the transformation that'll take place and how you're gonna feel. And you don't have to worry about money anymore. And, and you'll be able to have 100,000 or a or million dollars a year of tax-free income and go travel and, and have grandpa's camp and family vacations. And here's this transformation. And, and so here's the action step. First, we go through this, and then this, and then this, and this will take about uh, 18 months to, to set up the process. And then at the end of five years, your grandfather to be tax-free forever after. Now you just keep putting money in and everything will be beautiful at the end of the day by following these simple steps. That's all you do. Use the VOTA formula in any lesson, talk, a speech. If you're talking to an audience of five, a church. If you're talking to 20,000 people on stage like I have, that's the first thing I do is I think of VOTA. Memorize it. If you want to learn more about this, I teach it in many of my books and you'll see it play out in my books. I use the VOTA formula to write a book and it's usually outlined, the V-O-T-A, in the introduction. If you want to see it, this book I'd recommend is called Entitlement Abolition, How to Lead Your Family from Me, Me, Me to We, Together We're Better. I would love to gift you a copy of this book. It's one of my favorite for free. It's about 200 pages. You'll learn how to empower those you care about. And I want you to have a copy so you can see the VOTA formula in action. You can go to entitlementabolitionbook.com and I'll send you a free copy. You pay $5.95 shipping and handling. And then I want to empower you by actually having you get immersed in a VOTA formula in a book format.